Take us through this pre-draft process that you've been on over the last few weeks. What have you kind of been up to and working on that once you made that decision, okay, now it's time to turn pro? Yeah, I mean, it was 50-50 uh, from the beginning. Um, it was just very interesting going uh, to all those places, uh, seeing all the, the players from other conferences and compete against them, uh, see where I'm at, and um, getting, getting feedback from the teams. It was, it was really helpful. What was last night like for you? What was what? What was last night like for you? Uh, it was interesting. I mean, draft draft is always interesting. I, I always watched it. Um, this time it was just a little different uh, because my name was in the draft too. Um, I mean, no no really big surprises. I wasn't really projected anywhere, so uh, I'm just gonna have to keep proving myself like 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 I did. Were you uh, in contact with your agent and all throughout the night about maybe teams inquiring about? Two ADL G League stuff, summer league opportunities and things. Like that. Uh, I don't think they were talking about that particularly last night, but um, he told me that before Pelicans um, kind of uh, traded their pick 57, mm -hmm. then it, that that option kind of that little chance I had went away. So it, it was all good though. Oh, really? What I mean, what kind of emotions are you going through in terms of like trying to figure out what's next? Um, you know, I, I just saw that picture uh, the other day from, uh, what's his name, Gogi Otez, the, the guy who was sitting next to Zion. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, yeah. Draymond yeah. said, put it in a frame and put it on the wall and grind it out. So that's what I got to do, too. Yeah, because you knew this this was a possibility, but it doesn't necessarily mean that anything's over. You still have op op an yeah, opportunity. Yeah, yeah, of course. Are you looking at um, pursuing NBA first, or are you also considering – you know, the possible, like, Europe or elsewhere overseas to play? Yeah, right time. now I'm just focused on Summer League, getting to deal with one of the teams that, you know, uh, are in need of a stretch for or whatever I'd be playing. So uh, do that this summer um, and then go from there. Okay. Let the team see me and evaluate me even more. It, it, and, I mean, I wonder how much you just going to work out with these teams. Like you, Like you said, you kind of weren't on the – on the radar necessarily from mm -hmm. the like those draft experts how much do you think that you showed some of these teams that maybe didn't know a lot about your mm -hmm. game and you had the opportunity to work out with them and show them something yeah a lot of teams were, were surprised of my capability of shooting uh i shot really well in those workouts i couldn't prepare me very well and then uh went for workouts in arizona i, I got prepared really well and um Teams were teams were started looking at me even more after I after the workout and stuff. Uh, kind of put those guys that came in a spotlight back in their shadow. So it was, <laughs> it was good. <laughs> so did you uh, you did a little workout in Arizona? Yeah, I, I, that's my base there basically. Okay. Okay. So uh, probably with your agent or something is that? I'm idea? working out with Phil Beckner. Okay. Yeah, he All used right. to be a Nebraska coach, which. I don't really like, but yeah. he's, he's not anymore. <laughs> right, right. He's, yeah. You can you can set aside the uh, rivalry just right. to get better. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so you're saying seeing that picture and then going and drafted kind of motivates you even more, gets you more hungry to hopefully lock something in this summer. Yeah, it's uh, just keep grinding, keep proving myself. Uh, I've fallen a couple times with all those injuries and stuff, so it's just the matter of getting back, getting better now. Um, just do what I do, and that's it. Are there any comfort? I mean, when you're doing these workouts with these teams, how much of it is just basketball workouts and skill drills and stuff like that versus how much of it is trying to figure out who you are and your story and why you're here? Yeah, I mean, by the time you walk in the gym, they already know everything about you. Oh, so, right. yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty amazing how they even, like, called my coach from back home that coached me what, before Creighton. He was coaching me for six years, and wow. they give him a call, and ask him about my family, about my attitude back then and stuff. So, uh, yeah, they basically know everything about you before you get in, which, which was, yeah, it's kind of amazing. So you better have been on the mature teenager. Right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they, they go through all your social all media, your oh, everything. Yeah. So wow. it's, yeah, they know everything. And then once you step on the court, you just got to do what you do. And yeah, just kind of a follow-up to that. Did, so did you actually sit down with those guys at all? Like, did they... Do they interview you, I guess? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you sit down with them. Okay. Yeah, you, you, you tell them what they already know. Right, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you might tell them something they don't know yet, yeah. but... I only had two ACLs, not three. Right. <laughs> <laughs>
Um, it just with, it, with regards to the injury, like when you're talking to them and like imagine you're trying to read their uh, maybe their reaction to your your feedback and things like that. What did you What did you gather from what they thought of your injury history? Um, it didn't come up very much, really? honestly. Uh, they weren't talking to me about it. Uh, I don't know what they were talking between each other, but uh, I proved that those injuries are the past. Um, being more athletic than I used to be, it just shows that you know I grind it out and work hard to where I'm at. So, yeah, because of that, it's probably going to be a reason you have to take the hard road and prove yourself. You know what I mean, right? Yeah, you, yeah. Is I that mean, kind of what you understand. Combination with injuries and and, and me being 24, right. it, it just doesn't go through the draft anymore. Yeah. They they you know take chances with younger guys, 19, 18 year olds, and uh, they're, I mean it's no surprise. Yeah, I will just have to grind it out. Uh, coolest moment during your all the workouts and travels Man. that you had over the last what we're talking like four weeks or so what what stands out just one <laughs> two three, I, mean, what, I, I had larry bird watching me at indiana that was <laughs> awesome <laughs> uh i was talking to jerry west for 30 minutes i mean just basketball stuff wow like it was it was amazing so that was yeah that's definitely. pretty cool yeah that he would take the time to talk to you you know and just kind of yeah. talk about whatever yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it, was, it was really cool awesome Going to Lakers facility, I mean, their facility, they got all the trophies up top. That's it's pretty cool, yeah. Did you get nervous at all when you are about to do the workouts? Like, um, like, you're trying to be professional. You, sure. You, you are a little nervous, obviously. But you're starstruck. It's your first yeah, yeah, I know. Like, <laughs> Larry Bird's sitting yeah. there watching me. Yeah, I'm like, I, mean, I got to show up. Talk trash to Larry Bird? Or like, <laughs> nah. <laughs> no, no. I had a nice little shot from the corner where he, see what he was sitting at, but that's. Right. <laughs> Look, I don't want you to do it. Like, turn no. around, like, do the stuff. <laughs> what, what all team, do you remember what all teams you worked out with? Uh, Detroit. Indiana, Oklahoma, um, Clippers, Lakers, Utah Jazz, um, and I think that's it. Yeah. So what is it like being back here with your, your former teammates, still getting to work out with them? And what maybe advice has, have you given them about the process too? Uh, yeah, I just walked in the locker room yesterday after their practice. Uh, it was it was pretty cool to see them. Uh, it seemed like we haven't seen each other for a long time, but it was only three weeks. Um, I didn't really get to talk with them a lot, um, and we weren't really talking about basketball. You know, we're not in basketball all day, so uh, just you know, friendly stuff, family. Um, but I'm definitely gonna work out with some of them this this next weekend, so it's gonna be good. You. Uh... I mean, people think you left early, but you did graduate. So, like, you do have a degree. Um, how long do you want to give um, basketball a try? Because like, you do have options other than, you know, off the court. Like, yeah. how, how motivated are you, and how, how long do you want to give this a go before? That, that's a good question. I haven't even started yet playing. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's, uh, I'm just coming in right now, and I haven't been thinking about much, but I've, I've put some you know, some of the focus on that side, too. Um, it's very important what, what I do after basketball. Maybe I don't know yet what I particularly want to be a coach, want to be in a business side, yeah. you know, work 9 to 5. It, it, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Was it... Was it easier for you to make the decision knowing that you had a backup plan that you can kind of take a leap of faith with yeah. some kind of safety net. Of I mean uh, my family has always told me that um, whatever I do they're going to support me even if I come back and just start normal work normal life just like they do I mean it wouldn't be nothing wrong with it um, they w w will always support me in basketball way or whatever I decide to do so um, it, it wasn't a hard decision really. And, Thank <laughs> you.